Hey guys and welcome. Today we're over here at the uh, Wilderness Lodge Resort, guys. You'll know this one because it's the big log cabin resort. Now, if you remember, we were recently over here filming, but today I'm back over here and I need to film the Boulder Ridge, which is the resort connected to the Wilderness Lodge. So I'm gonna be over here filming that with Morgan today. Hey guys. As you guys see pulling out right now, see the big van that looks like the Minnie Mouse? That's actually the Minnie Van Service. So if you guys are looking for a lift service in Walt Disney World, look up the Minnie Van Service and they'll get you around if you don't have a car, you don't want to take the buses, or you're just not a fan of the boats. But anyway, let's start this tour. We're going to head into the Wilderness Lodge, guys. And this is the main foyer as you guys are walking in. It's going to keep the AC in and out of the two places. If I don't have my glasses And as you guys are walking in right now, Right now, this way, is the right. main <laughs> lobby as you guys walk into this wilderness lodge. It is huge, probably the biggest lobby on property. And as you guys can see, the detail in this place is incredible. You've got totem poles, which are the main mass poles that hold the roof up in the four sections, and there are carved okay, there animals yeah. in each one of them. Things it's pretty cool. And up there, you also see these massive lights up there, and the detail in the lights is just incredible. If you guys come in here, a lot of times we come in and we'll just sit in chairs, we'll pan around and just watch. I used to come down just before I took off going back up to New York when I lived up there, and I used to spend a half a day just hanging out here before I flew back home, just because it's just incredible to look at all the stuff in here and the sights. They never get old. This is probably my favorite resort to just come and hang out. But right now we're going to make our way over towards, we just went by the check-in over here on the right hand side. You can see the desks over here. This is your whole check-in section. Right next to that is their general store slash gift store. So it's a general store and a gift store or a gift shop, whatever you guys want to call it. And that's called the Mercantile right there. And you see the totem pole right out front there with all the characters. Now that is actually a pretty cool store too. We just recently filmed that and that is a fun store to go in. But right now we're actually heading down towards the, if you come in and take a right, we're actually going to head on down the hall here. And this is actually going to take you right out them doors, right over to the Boulder Ridge section of the Wilderness Lodge. But we wanted to walk you over here today and show you guys the window displays. They're doing characters out front and they've got the window display. But now we're going to turn around, we'll head on back up right now to the main lobby section, the big main section of the building. We're going to head out front here, and as you guys look across there, you can see just all the different things that just capture your eyes. But right now I'm going to take you upstairs, so we're going to hit the elevators, and we're going to head on upstairs and take a look from up above. There's our elevator main right there. So we're going to head on up. You're greeted with the moose in here. The Geyser Point restaurant out there. And let's head on up. Still waiting. And here we go. Okay, we're upstairs now and we're actually gonna take a look at the carpeting here, show you what you're gonna see up here. I'll walk over to the corner here, take a little peek out the window. So if you guys are upstairs and you look out, this is what you're gonna see. It's really pretty up here. It looks a lot better off camera. The camera's gonna distort this a little bit, but it looks a lot better when you're looking out the big windows and stuff like that. But you got the pool out back there, you got the waterway, and that waterway is gonna take you over to the Magic Kingdom. And there's your elevators that are gonna take you upstairs here. They're the ones we just came up on. So we're gonna come out, we're gonna take a left, and we're, then we're gonna take an immediate right. Show you down the hallway first. And this is what the rooms are going to look like when you guys are walking around up here. This is pretty much your rooms and stuff. So this is, the hallways aren't anything special. They're going to take you to the rooms, but this is what it looks like out front. So you guys are up here, you get a look out front here. And now we're back. So when you came out of the elevators, we took the right now. And now we're up above in the main lobby section. So now we're going to look on down. You can see the big fireplace. See the bear over there. Now that section you have to actually have to be staying in the resort to get into. You have to have your magic band or your key card to get in there because that's closed off to just the people staying there. So there's a little doorway, but we can come out here and take a look down. 
it's always fun. I love coming up here just to get the, you know, once again, you always look up, you never look down. So when you're up here looking down, totally different view, and you may catch something you didn't see when you're down below. You guys got the rocking chairs. If you guys just want to come and hang out up here, you can just bring some food or whatever up, sit down and look over, and it's just, it's soothing. It's just a nice thing when you're on vacation to just hang out and look at the view down there. It's incredible. You got the Whispering Canyon Cafe down there. You got the tops of the lights. And if you don't come up here, you're never gonna see what they even look like. That's pretty cool. You got the buffalo and stuff on. Looking over, you've got, it looks like a little area where you're gonna sit and watch some TV and stuff like that. And we're gonna make our way down the stairs right now. We'll head on down this way and then we're gonna end up uh, going downstairs, but I'll take another view over there. Maybe as we come down the stairs, let's see. And the stairs, they're gonna take you all the way down. So it's not just you're gonna be stuck on one level. And you can see around the stairs on both sides go all the way down, they go up to the top, down to the bottom. And once again, the very top area is gonna be uh, shut down with the doors, but we'll head on down. And you can see there's lighting under each one of the stairs, so it's kinda of cool. It's well lit, and the stairs are really nice. And everything here is just so rustic. If you guys like the log cabin feeling, the hunting feeling, the old lodge feeling, this is definitely it. We'll walk over here before we head all the way down and give you guys a shot from like the middle flooring here. To give you an idea how enormous this place is. It's just incredible. You look around, you see the lights, you see the poles. You're halfway down and the poles are still monstrous going up and going down. But you see the artwork in the floor down there. And they, uh, with the Whispering Canyon Cafe, this place actually comes to life. When you're down on the first floor, sometimes it is so loud down there because the entire restaurant is like a big performance going on in there. So the waiters and stuff like that, they get right involved. They have kind of like a, uh, they go table to table and they have a lot of interactions going on with the different families staying there. Now, that is a very pricey restaurant. We've eaten there before. It is very pricey, so double check before you guys just book a reservation. Make sure that's something you want. But we're gonna head on down right now. We're gonna go into a little like a little room with some doors that you're gonna go in and out of. I'm not really sure why they did this, but it's kind of cool. And every time you come down here, you're always gonna pull the door, door the wrong way. You're gonna always be aware of that, and you're gonna do it anyway. Another look down at the foyer as you guys are walking in. And that keeps the heat out, the cool in. It's kind of like that moderation one. And now we're gonna make our way on down right now to the, we're on the side of the Whispering Canyon Cafe now. And you guys got the restrooms and stuff over here too if you want to use them. Now we're gonna make our way to the Whispering Canyon Cafe to our left here. We've got the big fireplace going on right there. And at nighttime, they actually tell stories by the campfire there. So that's kind of cool if you guys are staying over here. Here's another look at this enormous lobby from the other side, a different perspective, and some of the decor they have in here. It's just a really well done, it's just like the perfect resort. Now the Animal Kingdom Lodge, the Jumbo House, very similar to this, but it's still not the same feeling. This place is just incredible. And as you can see out back, that's going to take you out to a little deck out there. We're going to try to make a way over there. It'll take you out to a deck. They got the bridge over here. So you guys can walk over the bridge, and it's got a little geyser in here, or a little spring in here. So this spring is actually going to come up, and it actually feeds. You can see right here, it actually comes up over those feeds underneath the bridge here and goes right out underneath the windows. Now tell me, that's not cool. This is the only resort that has water inside and then it flows outside. Now Morgan, when he was, he was a lot smaller, he used to love that bridge. He'd live on that bridge. So we'd be coming in and he'd go up and down that bridge a hundred times because he just wants to walk over. So he was a lot younger back then, so I guess the bridge was the big thing. But now we're making our way over to the wall. They got like a big wall here and it's all artwork on the wall. And that's where usually the DVC people are sitting right there and they're looking to talk to you about the uh, lifetime shares and stuff like that. And now we're over heading on down. That's the territory right there. And now we're heading on down to the outside. It's over near the pool, but you're on the left side of the pool. 
So you've got two sides. We're on this side that's actually going to take you down to the Roaring Forks. And you got the sign up above here. And that's a little dinky cafe down here to the left-hand side. But once again, all this stuff is when you're looking at the resort from the front, everything's back on the left-hand side. So on the right is just the rooms. You're not going to have this big walkway. So if you're not sure where to go, just go to the left side when you guys are walking back. And this is going to take you down to some doors that will take you out to. You can see where these people are here. They're going to walk up the stairs and it will take you to the center back of the building. Or if you come out right here, it will take you over to the pool. Or you take a left like we're doing right now and that's going to take you down to the Roaring Forks. And this is where we usually, when we're over here, this is my go-to for sitting down and getting some uh, food quick before we make some kind of journey outside or jump on the boat. But you can see that's, it's like, uh, it's got your pastries, it's got your drinks, it's got your dinner, you got your breakfast, a little bit of everything in there. It's one of my favorite places to stop and eat. Come out there. And now as you can see, we've made our way outside. We're right past the Roaring Forks. And we're coming out now. If you'd taken a right out them doors, we could have went over to the pool. But we're going to go a different way. So we're heading down to the left of the pool. We'll pan the camera on over so you guys can see in there and stuff like that. And there's heading over to that other side entrance of the pool. But you could have gone over to the other side also. So there's many different access points. As you're going to see walking around the pool anyway, there's a whole bunch of different areas you guys can walk in, walk out. You've got the umbrellas all over the place, so that's going to... And actually, if you guys are going in the pool, make sure you get early because them umbrellas get taken quick. And it's pretty hot out here, so you always want to make sure you got some kind of shade. But we're making our way down right now. Here's the pool. There's... If you look in the background here, that's the monstrous resort that's connected to this. So it's pretty cool to see how big this is. And that's on both sides. Then you got Morgan there. It's just a huge resort. You just never get tired of this place. You come over and it's just incredible. But right now we're actually going to go to the walkway that's going to take you out towards the boat. And that'll take you over to the uh, Copper Creek. They've got some cabins out back here. And this walks right along the back here. Up to the left is the boat launch. To the right over here, it's gonna take you around. I got a little bit in there. I'll try to get around and get a better view of that. And that's the little kids section. So if you got the little ones there, they're gonna go over and play in this whole section. Let's get over here and get you guys a little close up of this. Now usually you'll see the geyser. Every now and then you'll see that geyser shooting up and down the water. You'll hear it make all the noise, the vapor and stuff shooting, but Right now, it's nothing going on right here. Last time we came, it was actually all closed off. I think they were redoing it. And right there's the little kids section. And that's fairly new. That's not that many years old. It's pretty cool though. They put these in just about every resort now. And it's a great idea because it's perfect for the little kids. They don't want to be in that big pool with all the adults and stuff and the uh, teenagers. They got their own little section here. And this is going to take you back. If you guys see over there to the left there, that's Geyser Point. So that's a little restaurant bar outside. And this is the back of the pool here. They do got some uh, hot tubs back here. And what a beautiful picture of the back of that resort. So this is the back section of the pool. You got the Geyser Point bar. Now the Geyser Point is actually the midway between the Wilderness Lodge and the Boulder Ridge Resort. So that's right in the middle there, so you can walk over. But we're actually turning over right now, and we're actually gonna head on back to the boat launch. And I wanna show you guys where this is. And if, like I say, if you guys get an opportunity to at least get in a boat, a car, or something to get over here and walk around, it's definitely something we always recommend. This is an incredible resort to walk around. It's worth your time. If you're at the Magic Kingdom, just jump on the boat. It'll take you right on over. And once again, if you guys have not subscribed, now would be the time to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. And right now we're heading out back. So this is pretty much all in one of the uh, Wilderness Lodge. 
right here we're coming to the very last section that you can make a detour if you guys wanted to go to the cabins you're going to take a left right there but right now we're heading out to the boat launch and this is going to be the end of this video here so we're heading on down there's where the boats come in guys and you can see how it's starting to light up and stuff now it's kind of cool it's very pretty at nighttime this is one of them resorts where if you get over here at night, you're just going to want to keep walking around. It's just one of them, you know, everything is just perfect outside. The lighting, you got the water, you got the boats coming and going. Over this way here, you've got the Magic Kingdom. Behind the island out there, you've got the Contemporary and Bay Lake Tower. And then you've got Morgan again. And if you can see down there, that's where the boats come, and that's where you guys are going to jump on to head over to the Magic Kingdom. We'll see you guys on the next one, guys.